marathon of a game or a marathon of a series even because it was almost an hour game in game uh, number one then into the one and a half hour game two to finally decide the series had a bit of a break in between as we were watching the lower bracket in between and now back in action for lgd it was a bit of a bit of a shorter day maybe they've been uh, keeping themselves warmed up spamming some pubs doing some stuff in between oh hello cat Nice to meet you. You came to watch some Dota. There's some quality Chinese Dota coming out here. Oh, you're excited? Nice. Cats loving some Chinese Dota here. <coughs> Shout out to all the cat fans out there. What, what's her cat's name? And what what a um, lovely voice she's got. I have I have two cats actually. Uh, okay. The other is called Boomy, and the other is called Haru. Haru and Boomy. Cool. Yes. Oh, nice names. Cats. Cute, cute, they're, they're cute, nice, cute, nice, cute names. cute kitty, kitties. We're planning on getting a third at some point, which would be very pog. Then I can be the, the crazy cat man. <laughs> crazy but until pepper, then... Pepper, uh, pepper sprayed cat man. That's, yeah. that's who you'd be, yeah. Yeah. I'm the cat man. Uh, Azure Ray could surprise why you smile here with this wyvern in the river. Playing it very cautiously, FY. Just a casual sticky bomb to throw into the Wyvern. Just a reminder that he's around in the area, but no first blood fight. And we're going to start things off with a clean sheet. Double, sh uh, double bounties for each team and kick off the laning stage. Uh, Mars versus Puck in the mid lane. We've got the uh, Techies paired up with the Broodmother going up against Kalinx and Wyvern. And in the bot lane, Luna Chen. Versus Darkseer and the Batrider. Those are the matchups. Yeah, pretty interesting lanes. Like, uh, a lot of kill potential everywhere. I think Mars does fairly well against the puck in the mid. We'll see if that matchup has changed at all. But uh, Ori should... I mean, he should know the puck matchup inside out. He's a big puck player as well, right? So, yeah. you know, we'll see how he fares. I think Mars does well. Or should at least. What about the side lanes? Is there any element Which of surprise that you're surprised about? Because you were kind of like, how does LGD play this draft? Because uh, it is a bit all over the place in a way. So how does that impact the laning stage? Are there some I, uh, particular things that come into your mind that have to work out for LGD? Or do they need to force anything here? I don't think their lanes per se, like lanes as lanes are that bad. I think their lanes should be um, all righty. All right-ish, like you have this Dark Seer and and Batrider. Once they get level three, the lane becomes a bit easier. Um, on top lane as well, you have two ranged ranged heroes versus Brood. Like you have Lynx and Wyvern. This is, and one of those can fly over trees and keep keep uh, check on Brood, right? So it's not that easy for her to to lane here, even with the techies that's borderline broken at the moment. Yeah, it's a bit of a <clears throat> bit of poke there onto the Broodmother in the top lane, Shiro. It's one of the, the big benefits of having that big right-click damage early on in, in into the laning stage with a hero like this. And they're going to go for the attempt onto Bach. Broodmother does have to pop his stick th uh, stick charges. And a couple more hits could just do the trick. A tar bomb thrown in, but 66 HP is more than enough. Yeah, gotta be careful. That packed clinks, plus tar bomb, plus there's um, Arctic burn as well, of course. Also, by the way, th that Winter Wyvern wasn't level two yet when they when they went on Bach. If he was, he could have used Winter Blast once or twice. That would have been enough. Secure the kill that way. Yeah, it could have uh, definitely happened. A bit of unluck with the timing. Yeah, sometimes you just go a little bit too soon, you know, yeah. which can hurt you. You try to uh, attempt a kill uh, under leveled, you lose all your mana, the cooldowns. Then when you can actually make a kill, you you're lacking both. So now the brood actually has a healing lotus too. On bottom lane, it's kind of similar story. They are getting level three now on on Darkseer. He's getting really close to it. He's even saving a level, if you, which is pretty cool. He's saving a skill point. If he needs to run, he can take Surge, else he can go two levels of Iron Shell and Vacuum. 
Yeah. Then they can actually make a kill even. Like bad level 2 iron shell. It's a lot of lot of damage that they will be dealing. Always smart to keep that uh, that value point if there's really not too much happening in the in the laning stage. You've got the freedom for it. PYW having to clear out the uh, <coughs> the hard camp. And Lou does get the creep wave in front of his own tower, actually under the tower. But still no real shenanigans going around anywhere at this moment. Supports aren't needed in this mid lane at all at four minutes uh both mid laners are just you know clearing waves kind of in a i, I would almost say in a gentleman's agreement that we just don't poke each other just we just hit creeps yeah, i think everything is uh, about to change though like we are getting that critical mass for first bloods in the lanes yeah shift shift in the winds uh, the only uh, like for uh ar down bottom Chen got the best possible creep, so that's uh, that's a big, big uh, difference now. Like he has the purge, he's got the small satire banisher. It's Shiro, they're gonna try and attempt onto the clings at the top lane. The jump from Fy, the heal is there from Why You Smile, and also forcing Pyw to rotate with this. And oh, trying to go for the teleport out. Fy successful in doing so. 50 HP, not even mm -hmm. close. I think that this bad rotation is a bit more about the fact that he can't really do a lot on bottom lane, so he goes top. Um, he, he was iron shelled, by the way, so with that iron shell, he can at least move top. Down down bottom, the iron shell doesn't work. They need to find a way to kill these banishers. Now now they have two. Like, this is actually kind of dumb. They needed to block the hard camp. I think that RNG super favored Azure. Yeah. You can't iron shell. Can't get a lot of benefit out of that. Still no kills here in the first five minutes. And looking at the last hit department as well, New is slightly falling behind in terms of farm. Everybody else is uh, keeping up to the pace. Emo a little bit behind Ori. Well, actually, not just a little bit. Ori does have that level six before the puck does. But uh, no big brawl happening just quite yet. Just a bit of poke here and there, and the action rune will spawn. It goes for Emo. It's going to be the Envis rune for puck. Yeah, Still can, not going to use it, but might get the chance to pop it and get a rotation. Yep, yeah. uh, rotating away from mid right now would be uh, not maybe the best because there's a car team. Probably not worth, yeah. Yeah, probably not worth. Like he's already not having the best time. We mentioned earlier that it's it's a pretty decent lane for um, uh, for the Mars, so you don't want to have him uh, completely free farming. But there is a possible rotation. You could go top. Brood and Techies are easy kills for Paka. I think this rotation needs to happen with the teleport scroll though. Like you out push, you move back a bit, you TP from, from the from the trees. It's faster and it's harder to anticipate. Well, let's see if uh, <clears throat> Tom mentioned that critical mass about how this game is about to enter that shift phase of aggression. We're still going to have to wait for long for that, Shiro. Just uh, soaking up a bit of harass in the top lane. Not too much going on there. No special items also lined up at the moment for anyone, really. It's just the basics for the time being. I actually... Uh, I did do some calculations because this has been a hell of a long day. I, I'm not, not mm -hmm. going to lie. I, I counted that I have actually... Uh, during this last day, and I mean, this is my eighth best of three that I am casting. Oh I don't God, know how man. I'm still surviving, but a total of 787 minutes of uh, gameplay. I, I think Dota is burnt into your retina right now, you know? it's like But it's doing me good in a way. Like, I know I should be uh, super tired what? and my voice should be dead and, you know, I should be insane or whatever you want to put it. PYW, it first dead. blood for Azure Ray. Lou is going to get it. The second point in Lucent Beam is going to do the trick. I really think if you're LGD, when you started this game, you expected the bottom lane to be going really well for you. You didn't expect to be losing it, so uh, looking at that, it's, it's it's a bit sad, but well, 
hard is what to, it is. Yeah, it's hard to do anything about it at the moment besides stack stuff for Darkseer. So how does this lineup come together on, on the side of LGD now? Like, we're basically, we know some of the timings of these heroes, what they want to achieve, what they want to do, who they probably want mm -hmm. to target, like if they can catch Lou, for example, if they need to slow down the Brood Mother because Bach is already level 6 and has gotten it without too much contesting from this LGD top lane. Uh, what is the big power spike, really? Is it, do, they, do they just live off of Puck rotating with the, with his short cooldowns? Can I be honest? I have no idea. You I have I no idea, they, yeah. Because yeah. like, the this, same things for me as well. It's just, it yeah. feels... We kind of need to see it in action and yeah. then maybe... Uh, <laughs> give our thoughts on what's going on. But look at bottom. They're going to go for Lou, and that's the attempt they're going to make here with PYW New. Going to get the Flame Break to push him back. The TPs are coming in. They do have Chen to give up a bit of backup, and Ori rotates in with a big smack in the face of the Batrider. Lou gets to live a little bit longer. They have Puck rotating in, maybe, but Luna is already way too big. Meanwhile, on top lane, I don't know, Puck... Snipe? Puck went in. He might even die here. He needs to use Dream He does, but maybe he doesn't. Shiro is finding Chen Chen. Pops the ulti for a big heal. Shiro disengages. And so does the Puck. Emo is moving away. I have a bit of a slideshow on my screen here as well. Probably the same for you. No, I, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, Ori is still chasing Puck. Puck is actually... Oh, he's pinned on the tree. FY does get the jump on top of him, but he's got no spells remaining and that bomb it explodes right on top of emo so fy that is the fourth kill for azure ray lgd still hasn't been able to score a kill yep. despite I, the attempts of aggression i really think that they expected the bottom lane to go much much better and then with the big dark seer you can play the game a little bit easier but uh, not blocking the hard camp getting two setar banishers uh for chen just completely completely ruined the plans on bottom so they, yeah that, that's kind of hard to to deal with at the moment because luna is going to be farmed your brood mother is going to be farmed your chen is getting farmed and this mid game is not looking great for lgd there are some ways that you can come back uh, winter wyvern no curse versus brood like her spiders can kill her or not loan yeah. wyvern as well can defend very well with splinter blast versus uh the broodlings Bach is uh, still going for the Orchid build up here, so the Brood would like to find singular pickoffs, or at least cause a bit of mayhem uh, in those fights as well. That's one of the big benefits of having that Brood Mother is the the power, or I won't say power spike, but the capability the Brood Mother gives. The, the constant threat of if I'm alone somewhere, this big spider is just going to eat me. And then the damage output that you have. You build up that Orchid, even a Wyvern isn't able to stand her ground yep. with Winter's Curse because you just can't get it off. Uh, eventually, you know what happens versus Wyvern. You just send this, you just send the Spiderlings on him, on her. So, like, as a Broodmother, you're not worried about Winter's Curse. You're just sending the Spiders, and then he needs to react to that. Yep. He needs to do something about it, or else he dies. Spam so, some uh, Splinter Blast and hope for the best. Yeah, that's that's the general idea. But once the brute gets working, no one is safe, like you mentioned. Whoever gets caught most certainly dies, and no one that uh, no no one can buy any defensive items. You don't have any Manta or BKB pickers at the moment. You just can't build that item. Maybe you use on Puck or something, but that's more down the road. Yeah. Looking you at the top lane, the they're brood, setting up a gank onto Bach. The brute mother is gonna get scouted out. Let's get the stun to connect, and with that, the lasso will hold the Brute Mother on the spot. And that will be the first kill for LGD. But there's also a response coming in from Azure Ray. Ori, FY, they found the Winter Wyvern. They get hit by the bomb inside the arena, pinned to the wall, and blown to smithereens. I love how Chen used ulti immediately as they went on, on, on Brute. Try to it apply was... that. Yeah, a little bit. Really I do get the heal per second buff. Yeah, he was just uh, on point too fast. My Chen waits for me to die and then he pops the ult. Azure Ray, though, building a nice uh, economic lead again. Uh, 
Getting a 4k start to this game. Big. Luna topping the net worth. Bach with uh, the ult. even. Oh, he moved the creeps in. Despite, oh, oh, they're actually fighting inside the triangle here. Neo is right there on top of Lu. Lu does need some backup, but is it sufficient enough? This Luna loss would be huge, but it, he's just standing his ground, fighting it back with the glaives. Shiro and Wayu smile will lose their lives. And Lu again, that's the second time they tried to kill the Luna. No success. Yeah, this is really getting into danger zone for them. Like, you're not killing the Luna, she's farming your Ancients, she's farming your heroes, you're not going to scale well enough against her. Yeah, or el you will, but by the time you get there, she is way too strong. This Alpha Wolf that's following her as well, giving her so much damage. Look at these stacks now that she's gonna take, like, Lu is in heaven right now. Oh, that's it. That, that's basically like, uh... A, uh, he's a very in a very happy place right now. Heaven, I'm telling you. This is Yasha completed and maybe the diadem as well. FY giving him some uh, support with the mines. Also, the supports are going to get a piece of that gold. FY. Most of those stacks made by either by him. Or by the, the Chen hasn't really been moving around that area a lot. So uh, techies will get it's a FY, share. Yeah. Yeah, FY, you can you can see if you click on him, it's just ticking, uh, you know, just ticking 24 gold, 24 gold, 24 gold. Luna got like a thousand gold. I'm not going to use Here goes the Wyvern as Ori does drop the arena to uh, annihilate this Wyvern right away. But uh, he's standing his ground with the curse. FY is coming in. And PYW is also intervening because Emo is on his way. It's a Winter's Curse on a Mars Illusion. It's not the real one, but Ori is still going to go down with... Neo showing up, and they just bring in the numbers for the kill. But it's still a 7k lead going in the way of Azure Ray, and it continues to increase despite one hero being given away. Uh, 890 gold script wrote. That's how much our our data scientist. Thank you, uh, Scriff. He 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 mined the data. He he found the gold gained. Yeah, they killed the um, Mars, like you said, but he has a blink. He's going towards the BKB. What's happening with the Brute? Has that Orchid? Yeah, and he's going straight for Bloodthorn, too. Do you feel mm -hmm. like that's the right path? Should he build oh. another item instead of just upgrading the Bloodthorn? They're going to do Rush, it seems like, first. I... I think Bloodthorn is maybe a bit greedy getting, but at the same time you have, like, I was gonna say, maybe some utility, but you already have utility coming from Chen. He's got all the creeps, he's got the Vlads as well, like this rush is gone. <laughs> like for Still LGD to play this game, they need to outplay them really hard. They need to yeah. set up some crazy Winter's Curse, some crazy walls from Darkseer. And it's the Wombo combo that they're living off as well. Uh, a lot of teamfight ulti to throw in. The Klinks that's capable of ratting if necessary. Like, Klinks' pushing power is still very, very good. But I don't think you're going to get to do a lot of that when uh, Azure Ray, at some point in, in the near future, is just going to stack up and look for good fights. Or at least fight opportunities. Meanwhile, Lu... Mm -hmm has been pretty optimistic with his positioning. Uh, he's been farming the enemy triangle, getting caught, but not killed. Just a big benefit for him. He's got that shard. He's even stacking the enemy uh, ancients. He's got the shard now. He bought it himself. Level 14, Luna. What's Klinks? Level 11. Three levels ahead of the enemy carry. And you're pretty much already knocking on tier 2s. Yeah. The other has a level 2 ulti. The other doesn't. Bet does have a blink, and he's tower. tipping in. He's, he's thinking about it. Is he going to get close enough to Lou? He's just on the blink range, but they're actually going to go to the triangle. They see Ori. I want to get rid of the Mars first. Chen dropping the ulti right away. Mars is not soaking enough damage to survive the silence, but they get the turnaround from Lou with the Eclipse and the jump from FY. They got the curse dropped down as well. That will take FY's life. And now, Lou, you're suddenly quite alone in here. Where's your backup? Aegis down, Chen waiting on the low ground, and there's nobody coming, because who's left to give? Who's left there to help? Big turnarounds coming here. Emo also dropping the coil right on top of the Chen, 
And another one going the way of LGD. Finally get the fight back a little bit and try to narrow down that economy lead that Azure Ray has. Oh, crazy well played by them. Uh, killing the Aegis, killing the Luna as well. Uh, yeah, just a really good Winter's Curse as well. Really good decision to go on the Mars and not go on the Luna that had Aegis. Killing off the Mars kind of kills off all their potential to take that team fight. Also keep in mind that uh, maybe Azure played that wrong because they were fighting where they didn't have Brood, right? Like they were fighting on the opposite side of the map. Brood, Bach, he just cannot join you. You're basically playing four versus five. I think that's probably the biggest issue. And the fact that you're losing Mars immediately three versus five, so... Good yeah, luck He has the that. Bloodthorn now, it's on the Courier. Yeah, but you still have to be around him. You still have to be, yeah, and FY is already being targeted here. Bah, he's not sure about the numbers on this one as LGD, once again, four versus one in this fight. Bah is moving in, does have PYW and all those <laughs> spiders. <laughs> uh, that was fast. Spiders chewing on a Bloodthorn target, so uh, that's, a, that's a quick burst of damage. That's 1,540 damage that uh, the brutal... Yeah, that, that Batrider just disappeared. He jumped in even for the lasso, but that was crazy fast. Yeah, that instant burst uh, coming out from that Bloodthorn. Maybe it catches the Batrider off guard a little bit too, because that's a hero with seven armor. It's not like it's your one, two, three, or four armor target. And he's got 1400 HP, a level 11 Batrider, gone in a second. So maybe they have that going in their way. Like, I always consider Bloodthorn Rush. I feel like mm -hmm. it's a bit too greedy because you need to play mm -hmm. with a team. But I guess if you're just not playing with a team, why are you building team items? So, uh, Bach yeah. knows. Yeah, he knew that he's not going to be helping. So, <laughs> so he just did his own thing. Uh, overall, it, it's still good. Like, he gets, uh, he gets some really nice pick off there on the bat. He loses. He loses the techies, who has smoked now, together with the Mars, together with the Luna. I like this play because I want to see them playing faster. I, I, I really think that they can come online really fast. Yeah, they've got, uh, to... they've got no vision in this area. And now techies has been scouted out, so uh, it's going to be a quick D ward. Looking for the proximity mine. Looking to pressure this top lane as well. LGD, they are smoking themselves up as well. Emo, gotta need to lead the troops on this one. BYW is probably gonna look for that lasso with the blink. Has the four staff on top of that mm -hmm. too. The only problem that I see with this is if they go for a fight. They're going for a fight just before the BKB on Mars. And Mars, once again... It's again caught. the same target. They were successful last time, but Ori finally, this time he's not silenced. He pops the arena. EYW does get removed, and Lou, he would like to focus on Emo here. Coil snap onto Bach. Still going for the chase. The spiders are running around, running rampant, but that tower, it's now left vulnerable and open, and it will be taken by Azure Ray. Yeah, so they attempted the same play on uh, the Mars, but this time around, not only does he have Ogre Axe, but there's no clinks. So there just isn't enough damage to take the big boy down. Uh, Puck and Bat, it's just not enough. And Vyvern, I don't know if you noticed, but the way Bach played that fight is he stayed back and he just sent the spiders on Vyvern. Yep. So Vyvern can't really join, can't really position himself to use the ulti well. And it's so early into the game as well that they don't have any ways uh, of dispelling. The only person with at least some dispel is Emo's Puck with, uh, with the Yules, and that's only for yourself. No Lotus Orbs, no saving abilities. This Tormentor is uh, going down fairly fast. Only a gift for why you smile. Behold. 22 minutes into this one, uh, Azure Ray still uh, in a commanding position. We're still waiting for LGD's full team fight to kick in. And what can they do? <clears throat> what can they do with their capability? They are keeping no. up and farm at least. They are. Klinks is becoming big. He, he mentioned a bit earlier. 
He's keeping up with farm, he's got the blood torn. I still do like the chances of Azure if they play the fight properly. They just have to find a way to get the back lines, you know? Maybe maybe uh, get the Vyvern or prevent him from doing a lot in these fights. Preventing him from doing a lot means getting Lincolns. At least for him or for the bat. Bottom lane, Luna is TPing in. And he has backup. They're gonna go straight for the puck as well with the Arena Eclipse not taking too many seconds to think about it. Curse is dropped down as well. Evo does get the blink away and it has the Yules. Can he still keep building a distance? Yes, he can. Gets away with the Illusory Orb. There's a lasso on the back line as well. It's on the Bach and Bach will be taken down. The Broodmother, he's got these spiders running all over the place, joining the fray, giving vision. But the Wyvern's gonna be dropping Evo, turning around with the coil. Now they're gonna stack up on top of Baloo. There's the wall with the vacuum, but the heal is coming out from the Chen Shiro. Going, uh, going around, going, taking the Chen, and the Ori Spear comes out of nowhere, surprising the Clinks maybe a bit, and Lu will be credited with a kill here. Yeah, you can see that LGD, they're playing their hearts out right now. The way they're approaching these teamfights is so good. Uh, it just it, it just feels like Azure, they're the ones that, okay, we just want to go in, set this arena, pop the ulti and Chen fight it out fair and square, you know? LGD, meanwhile, they have to do all these shenanigans. They need to uh, time the Winter's Curse properly, they need to lasso someone from the back, Puck needs to dream coil the other side, they need to get in and out of fights, and... Also what they need, they desperately need a BKB on Clinks. Once they get on top of this guy, he's as good as that, so he needs some survivability. Yeah, you're gonna need a, a lot of conditions uh, to take place to get the optimal fight for LGD, and it is definitely uh, an ease of execution thing for Azure Ray. Mm -hmm. Much easier yeah. to approach any any type of scenario. A singular pickoff, a singular team fight, contesting Roshan, smoking up in the enemy jungle. And they it's will have uh, two Lincoln Spheres, by the way. One is already completed on the Luna, the other will be coming on Brood Mother. She's got, what, 100 gold? Yeah. More? A Lotus for Chen. That's still quite far away, but at least having all, all of those tools gives a bit of security versus Why You Smile, and of course against the Batrider. It's all the control that they truly have, uh, because like Dream Coil is also pretty big, but it's not necessarily as pick offy. Like they need a good team fight for it. Dark Meanwhile, Lasso Winter's Curse. That's just like I I cast this, I eliminate the target. I'm a support. I don't care. Run back. Roshan's gonna be back home in less than a minute. Azure Ray would like to take that one, especially with that, uh, with the Bloodthorn. Luna already hits quite hard. It will hit even harder. That should be a very fast. Like, this is a game where Sean will die very quickly. So, you will Both recognize sides, right? situations. Like, are we close enough to contest? And are we just going to dodge it completely because we're not nearby? Yeah, both sides can take it uh, within, what? 15 20 seconds relative ease yeah 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 so it, it's really fast for both i i like is that parasma by the way being purchased by puck i believe so 2.9k gold azure ray looking for a pill in mid but it's only only going to be a tier 2 tower and that will melt very very fast and roche is back home so i believe uh these Chen army creeps have found the big boss. They make their way straight towards it. LGD finish off a tier 2 tower. This probably usually is... I mean, this is usually the indicator. If you get a tower for free like this, they're probably roaching. So they're just trading it off. Yep, exactly. It's and them, but it's taking quite a long time. Uh, by, they've gotten, by the time they've gotten to this tier 2 tower. So I wouldn't be too surprised if Shiro's like, should we go high ground? Probably, yeah. This is your opportunity to trade something. He could TP top. His teammates are smoking up. But uh, the Sages is already... You know, the, the fight has... Yeah, they barely got halfway. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, I was even surprised a little bit that they... Okay, their team fight is sick. They have really strong team fight. At the same time... Ah, you're not fighting that. Come on. There's no clinks. There's no way for him to TP and join the fight. 
easily without being completely in, in vision at the outpost. A lot of movement on the map towards the bottom half. There's a uh, Techies uh, right next to the lane and a gang squad from LGD. PYW leading the charge first with the Bat Rider goes in for the blink. Can't quite find him. FY pops the glimmer. PYW still on the chase, suspecting this is where he went and this is exactly where he is. But there's also Azure Ray coming in. Too slow. He's on the side. Why you smile? Good positioning of the trees. Bat Rider will get the heal. And also the Bloodthorn removed with that Lotus Orb. And now Ori Marcy's snipes here. the waver and on from the back. PYW going for the TP out. And the rest of LGD scrambling away. Yeah, you can already see they're pinging the tier 2 tower. Um, you could see Klink's running away from that fight before it even started properly. He knows they cannot fight that. He does have a BKB though. So soon enough, if they find the right pickoff, they might get uh, solid engagements for themselves. Now Azure Raider just pushing that bottom wave completely inside the enemy base. There's no, there's only the half HP tier two, but with the security of a cheese and an Aegis, they could consider high ground here. Luna is very strong. Uh, yeah, not having Winter's Curse is a really big deal as well. But they got, and they got the Conda. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There you go. I'm gonna go and uh, knock, knock on uh, Dyer's door. BKB top lane cheese used as well. They tr attempted a kill. They don't have lasso now too. They missed the kill on Mars. That's At the same time, bro. yeah, there is no Mars. Tipping in. A bit of a rough situation if you are LGD because your whole lineup is built on these combos. Now you're missing two pieces of it. And you're just gonna have to give away Elena Rack Shiro. He's got that BKB. We'll get himself a bit of extra security if Lou decides to start nuking him down. But Shiro's down to half HP already without even a proper engagement uh, thrown in from the direction of Azure Ray. They could jump with it. Still has that Aegis, pops the Manta, removes the silence, gets vacuumed in. Shiro is almost dead on the sideline. And Luna is still standing her ground. Look at the patience from Azure Ray. They're not panicking anything extra here. They know they have the Aegis, but they're not rushing to save Lou. Lou has done the job required, and the Racks have fallen without any casualties. Too many auras helping him, too many heals. They also know that there is a level 2 Hand of God from Chen, so... You can heal up, go mid, maybe. Maybe smoke up, get another fight going first. Um, no, the problem now is you don't have a BKB. Ah, okay, Ori, actually, 3 seconds has a BKB again. You can take a decent engagement. Shiro does show himself in the mid lane, but Lou is there quick uh, quick enough to cut the attempt on the spot. Got that mid wave uh, still quite far away, but soon will join in. All they can do is just starve out LGD. One minute, 20 seconds on the Aegis. Lou, this time on the top lane, backdoor protection literally just kicks in. So somebody has to deal with the, the mid wave. They want to fight want to that. get the back door off. And by the time Root's leaving, they got the Luna. Bringing her deep inside the enemy base. Drops the Eclipse though. Lou, no fear. No fear whatsoever. Neo and Shiro. BKB is also popped on the clink. Still running away. And Lou has died for the first time. Will he die for a second? Why you smile? Looking for an angle. They're all stacked up right now for a big curse. But Ori nice says arena. no. The door has been shut closed. And that is why you smile, forcing an instant buyback. Can he still get in position? No, he cannot. They still LGD have a curse, remember. can't find an opening. Mm -hmm. Who will continue to siege? Evo does get a fight with Bach, and Bach does get taken down with the help of Shiro and the Bloodthorn, and PYW almost dies instantly to Lou in that Conda proc. That's a lot of damage this one in uh, instance of a Lucent Beam does. Can they kill the Luna? That's the only question now. Is it possible? They They're broke the, the Lincolns. Yeah, but... Links. They're going in. They're going for it. Puck's coming in from the side. Blink in onto Mars. 
Well, he's got the illusory orb there as well. Lewis just waiting for him to pop, and there we go. The vacuum does connect onto three, but still no curse coming out from YU Smile. And FY making sure that he's not even going to get anything done here. YU Smile, the dieback is a certainty, and now you got PYW with the lasso, but the Mars is right now. Ooh. They've got Shiro dealing damage on Lu Lu on the high ground, missing a couple hits on the Clinks. Clinks is now running away with that surge, trying to get as far as possible by standing right next to him. Pops the taser for the disarm. Luna is coiled up, stunned at 600 HP remaining. The wall is dropped down by Niu, and Luna is still surviving, but Shiro is right next to him. Can he get that snipe? Goes for the attack. Oh, the but heels. Luna, Luna just turns it around and takes down Shiro. Puck thrown into the air with his heels, and they Did have you? had it 33 minutes, and Azure Ray will take the lead in the upper bracket finals. Such a clean execution, really, from. Azure, maybe a couple of face steps here and there with uh, Broodmother dying, getting picked off, or Mars, but uh, being picked off alone. But besides that, really clean draft, clean execution.